Today's Artist of the Day, Merlin Wood. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to yet another Artist of the Day episode. Um, today's Artist of the Day is Merlin Wood. Merlin Wood I actually found uh, two ways. I found him off of an Anthony Fantano video, off an interview, but I didn't really think nothing of it. Fast forward, I see him down my Instagram uh, timeline. I click on him. He has a pretty big following, um, but only had like three songs at the time. But sure enough, at the time of this recording, he released a song literally yesterday. Um, and despite him only having like three songs, all those songs have done pretty big numbers with uh, his first song, Cul-de-Sac, doing uh, just under two mil. Um, the, his least played song besides his just released one. Um, is 392,836 streams. Um, so yeah, it's four songs on here. We'll listen to all four. Um, we'll talk about each one and then, you know, the drill we will then, uh, rate him as an artist. Um, so yeah, before we get into that, uh, everybody, um, just want to let everybody ask everybody to, uh, wow, that's a lot of fucking every, everyone description below, uh, are my links to my Instagram, the podcast Instagram and personal as well as the link to my music groups, uh, my music groups, like music. Oh, I'm so, so dumb. Our new single, That's Okay, as well as Life the Party, I Got Time. All our music is down below. Go check it out. Stream it, please. And thank you. We're out everywhere. Uh, with that being said, we're going to do something a little bit different. Instead of going to where it's like, uh, we'll play it by most like top five popular, we'll go from oldest song to newest. So we'll listen to Cold A Sec, then Forget Me Not, then SYK, then Green Light. So with that being said, the first song we'll listen to is Cold A Sec. Okay. Okay. What the hell is this synth? Or whatever the whatever this instrument is. It sounds like it belongs in fucking candy town. Ah. Oh. I like these drums. Oh my goodness. All right, that was cold to sack. Uh, it was a cool song. I didn't really like it that much. But granted, I will cut severe some some him some big slack and not weigh that too heavily because the fact of it was made back in 2016. I could see why it'd be appealing. Um, it wasn't horrible. Just kind of really wasn't my. Favorite. Um, he is rapping was is like was very is very awkward at this t stage. Um, still kind of figuring out certain flows. His lyricism's oh is pretty okay for for starting off, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not that good. Again. I understand this is not how he is now. It's literally 2022, and this is 2016. It's like, literally, I understand that this is six years ago. But I'm just basing it off the song, and just, again, I, I there the instrumental's cool. The drums are all right. Um, he's mixed pretty well, under, under, pretty well, so he understands, you know, the basic music. Um, like I said, it's, it's a cool song, not a horrible start, but I can see, I can see the appeal, but, uh... Again, I guess just not really my thing. And the next song, which was made in 2017, again, I understand it's been a minute. Uh, we're gonna listen to it. Yeah, 2017 called Forget Me Not. Yo. Oh, it's good. Yeah. He about to rap for real? Oh my God. This instrumental is crazy. Uh, Tyler? I had to run out to cry. These thoughts of Della, they do give a hell. Damn, I need some tools in my life. Okay. She already knows she is. I already know who I am. Okay. Weirdest relationship. That's a fact. No, no, that's a fact. That's a fact. The weirdest relationships that you'll ever have is when you're almost dating. That's never rang truer. I can relate to that. You know what, just because of that, he's obviously a ten. Oh, I'm jokes aside, I, I can't relate to that. That's some real shit. That's happened to me on a multitude of times. It's such a weird feeling, being in that dynamic of, hey, you know, you're basically mine, but we're not, so I can't say that, and you, but, but, but this thing we have is obviously more than friends, but we, 
but we're together, kind of, but I can't say you're together because you don't want that, but however, comma, I'm not going to entertain everybody, anybody else, and neither are you, so we're just together, but we're not, but we're almost here just based off of, just because of one circumstance, let it be wherever that circumstance will be. We're kind of just here, but not here. I don't know. It's weird. Looking at somebody like that. Okay. Okay. Uh, 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 all right. That was forget me not. Again, another song that's like, it's it's alright. Um, I like that definitely a lot better than Cold Assassin. Um, he's still pretty awkward around the stage, not as awkward. Um, but I actually can understand the theme he's talking about here. Basically, him getting comfortable in a shitty, con uh, con not as necessary. It doesn't have to always be a shitty situation, but that kind of is a shitty situation if you really think about it. And kind of him just being like, if you don't want to actually come fully commit to me, say that, make that clear. We can just be cool. Um, kind of the interlude talking about how weird that. Um, again, the, dy the dynamic of a relationship being that when you're almost together, but you're not, but you kind of are, you don't belong to anybody else, but at the same time, they're not yours yet. And again, you heard my tangent about that earlier. Um, and I guess that's very relatable, so I can definitely, that definitely can hit home for me um, as someone who's been through that on a multitude of occasions. But yeah, um, I like the instrumental, very Tyler the Creator-esque. Um, he, f certain parts where he's, the flows get inconsistent and the flow he's going for doesn't really fit the instrumental at times, but overall he does a pretty good job. His lyricism's got, is obviously better from the Coda Sack single. And, and again, I'm not weighing this too heavily because this was back in 2017. The next song is where I can actually start judging a lot better. Uh, next song is SYK, um, featuring, it's him and, uh, this, uh, the artist Connie. I don't know who that is. This was released in 2021, so I can actually judge it upon, you know, like accurately, accurately. So, um, we'll be good. Yeah, so featuring Connie, song is called SYK. What does that mean? I don't know, but we're gonna find it. Oh my god, what? Oh my god, dude, I was not ready. The energy has been up these four years. What the f That's just so you know. Oh, so the, so it's basically, the song is called So You Know. Okay, got it. No defense, no this beat no is crazy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Whatever that is sounds like a UFO. Bro, bro, I'm being kidnapped by extraterrestrial beings right now. Whatever that sound is, I am being kidnapped. This production is nasty. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's what I'm talking about. All right. I like that a lot more. Um, I saw, I looked in the credits. I saw Connie uh, is the producer. Um, that beat is really, really, really phenomenal. Very dark, very monstrous, very spacious, um, atmospheric. All these great, all these giant terms. That, and um, especially that, that little section, I don't know how that would even describe that. That's great. Um, the ending is very cool, how um, the effects that he puts on uh, Merlin's voice and how that is um, all put together. It's mixed pretty well. Overall, very solid. The hi-hats are a bit too sharp. Um, kind of hurt sometimes if you have so I don't know if that was a miss or whatever, but they're a bit too sharp But monstrous beat monstrous like it very solid Merlin um, Obviously levels above who he was four years ago um, Coming in one with energy the most which I can appreciate that because that is a hype song that I can see if you played it on tour People would be screaming their heads off like that's a song you definitely rave to, a song that you definitely like just be getting hyped to for no reason. He low-key is playing off a a half decent Ski Master Slum God impression on this one. Um just a touch. But overall I'll say he does have a half original sound, but he did but it, the minute I heard his voice, he's been going, so you know. Uh he did sound like um Ski Mask, just a touch. Lyrics are cool, kind of just basically just being a menace, you know, uh, on the on the devious, just demon time, I guess, suppose. 
And he's just said, just so you know, this is what I'm going to do. If you choose to fuck with me, if you choose to continue with me, that's on you. Because I told you, and I'm not changing. A lot better than his other songs. A lot better. A lot better. I enjoyed that one a lot more. And the final song to listen to uh, is um, Green Light, which he released at the time of this recording. It's May 31st. He released this May 30th. So, let's go. Are you fucking kidding me? I woke up feeling like a Gucci ass. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is Kanye just his new producer now? Wait a minute. Huh. Holy shit. I guess he is. Feeling like a Gucci ass lip. I am a real nigga that is not in Paris. You a fatherless bitch and that is a parent. You ain't got nothing to say out. Turn it up. Huh? Uh. Yeah. Turn up green light, yeah. This is a hype. All right, that was Green Light, uh, the most recent new single from by Merlin Wood. Um, again, I like that. It's pretty. It's a hype song. Um, the beat I love. Um, kind of did a phenomenal, phenomenal job. He landed a gold mine when he found him as his producer. Um, Merlin's a bit mixed, a little bit too loud in comparison. He's a mixed louder than the instrumental. I don't know if that was purposeful. Um, but at times it's not a problem, but towards the end, oh, excuse me, it kind of becomes like the, the energy dies down just in the fact it's mostly him yelling over, over the instrumental in terms of like, he's way too loud and the instrumental instrumentals like down here, not up there with him. Cool song. Um, he's showing again, the energy, um, the energy gap that he has, that's pretty big, a very party anthem type song. Um, pretty solid. Again, not really my taste per se, but it's it's pretty cool. All right, that was Merlin Wood, um, rapper. Uh, um, uh, overall, he's pretty cool. He's pretty cool. Um, you can definitely see the growth. Um, and him being pr essentially night and day in comparison to how he started. Whereas cul de sac and forget me not, he's still kind of just jumbling over words, kind of jumbling over. Um, stumbling over the beat, not really being as confident, not really bringing that energy. And granted, those songs are two di are different type of styles that I feel. Like. Um, he uh, he's pretty good right now. Like when he like that night and day jump, and then you go to the songs you hear, so you know. And green light, uh, he has the energy, he has the performance. Um, he found a producer that is actually makes really good, unique, monstrous beats. Kind of a like a, a Tyler the Creator ish type production. Um, they're not just very simple YouTube beats. lyricism. I think he's just got to figure that out. I think he's obviously not here to be the lyrical miracle, but he's here to make you know, I guess hype fun songs. And in terms of energy, he's got it down packed. I just think that in term, it's kind of needs to be a little bit more on a, on a lyrical level. But that's just me personally. Um, overall, he's 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 improved a lot, and I can see why he's seen as a very appealing. And I think as long as he keeps going, the the sky's the limit. I'm feeling a strong four, light five um, out of ten for him. Um, I guess I just have to really hear more to see where he goes next. But definitely a good start, especially um, that jump from his first song to um, in that six year gap of 2016 to 2020, 2022. If that my number, if my numbers are right, yeah, six years. Yeah, um, and and he keeps going up. He'll he'll have he'll be really really good. So yeah, I'm feeling a strong four, like five out of ten for him. Um, thank y'all for watching. Stay safe. Love y'all. Bye bye.